did you know that 78% of Plymouth colonists died within six months after the first Thanksgiving feast? November 1621 started with celebration. The harvest was good, and the Wampanoag tribe joined the colonists for three days of feasting. But by December, something was terribly wrong. Dr. Samuel Fuller documented the first fever cases in his medical notes. High temperatures, violent shaking, then delirium. Within weeks, it spread like wildfire through both populations. Fuller's journal entries became increasingly desperate as he watched entire families die in agony. The final stages were horrific. Victims bled from their eyes and mouth, their skin turned black, and they died screaming. Fuller realized the truth too late. The shared feast had been contaminated. Modern epidemiologists finally identified the pathogen in 2019 using DNA analysis from colonial burial sites. It was hemorrhagic fever, likely spread through infected grain stores. Today, this outbreak is still studied by biological warfare experts as a perfect example of how quickly a pathogen can destroy entire communities. The first Thanksgiving killed almost everyone who attended.